welcome back to my channel. While I was in Australia, I filmed and edited part of a video that I thought would be kind of an interesting concept. I gave myself a $20 limit to go and try and find makeup and kind of create a look just with that limited budget. When I actually set out to do this challenge, I didn't realize it was going to be as hard as it turned out to be. It was a lot harder, especially as a girl of color, to find shades um, like in foundations or just stuff that kind of matched my skin tone as at cheaper prices. I tried to get as much as I could within that budget. Um, I didn't really manage to get everything so we'll try and improvise i kind of found a loophole in it which i will tell you about later on so enjoy the footage and we'll come back wouldn't it be nice living life like everything was a party only 18 years deep and now we're getting started finish line clear so we focused on the target wouldn't it be nice if we saturate the market and wouldn't it be great if we could just simply leave and never think about calm down or act your age i say hey hands up the record plays wouldn't it be great if i can live on stage let me introduce you to the duo with a dream wouldn't it be nice if we blew up on the scene two shows and kudos so you know what i mean wouldn't it be cool to have a name up on the screen And wouldn't it be great if I could make you a fanatic But you know you're following like dust in the attic For your yeah. skin tone I just don't have a hair tone but That would be more of a neutral one, right? Yeah, it's like sort of like a plummy And this is a dark red, yeah? I yeah. might get that one Like a plummy nude Yeah, yeah, okay, that's perfect So we've got lipstick really? Alright Savvy might be cheap as well, do you want to have a look at Savvy? Sure I've never heard of this brand before. Yeah, a lot of people have been telling me that. Yeah, today. nah. It's a pretty popular brand. So this is proving a lot harder than I thought. Um, I went into Priceline and thankfully she helped me out. And the only thing I was able to get was um, an Essence lip pencil, which I'm going to use as a lipstick as well, and a blush. Still haven't got foundation or eyeshadow or anything like that. So this is going to be a bit tight, but it's actually fun. It's interesting. So. We're going to, I'm going to try and go to Target and see if in, um, they have anything. Also, I'll go into a chemist warehouse and we'll see how we'll go. Yeah, I just wish the people could relax and look beyond what they see is right or wrong. Just appreciate the song because the music's not about cold drinks. I'm in Target right now and I found this brand and it has blushes and eyeshadows. I think I might get that one. So I have to go back into Priceline because Target was no help. I couldn't find a single thing in Target. Let's see if the second Priceline will have something else for me because I'm just stressed out right now. Like, I didn't think this was going to be so hard. It's hard. A few moments later. The second Priceline didn't have what I was looking for, so I'm going back to the first Priceline that I went to. And we'll see how that goes. I'm just... I just want some ice cream right now, y'all. Like, I'm just stressed out. But yeah, we can do this. Turn this on, tell me, do you feel nice? To get up on your feet and make the most out of the night. <laughs> so this is, remind me, this is um, Natalia and Leanne. And they've helped me out with the $20 challenge. So I just want to say thank you so much, girls. I appreciate it. Aw. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> So the biggest thank you goes out to the two beautiful ladies that helped me out of Priceline. Honestly, I don't think I would have been able to get through that day if it wasn't for them. So the first thing that we're going to try and do is the eyeshadow because when I'm doing my makeup, I usually do my eyeshadow first. Um, I hate doing my brows. I got this, um, it's called Eye Magic Glamazon and it's by a brand called Chi Chi. So it's basically, it's supposed to be like an instant eyeshadow look, which I thought was really interesting. I got this from Target and it was $5, which I was like, score, because it's right within my budget. <laughs> it was right within my budget. The only ones that were on sale were these purple ones, which I don't mind a purple eyeshadow. So I'll read the instructions, I'll bring you guys up close and we'll see if this works or not. Wish me luck. <laughs> eyeshadow <laughs> I have mixed feelings about it it definitely worked I wasn't expecting it to be this pigmented I felt like maybe if I had a base on it would turn out extremely beautiful I 
try to clean it up a little bit because that's what it says in the instructions. It says blend. There's like a couple more in there, so I'll definitely play around with them. But let's get on to our foundation. I couldn't find anything that was cheap enough in my color, in my shade, which was sad. I remembered that you can usually go and get samples of different foundations from different, like, you know, department stores. So I was like, hey, and they give them to you for free. So there's my little loophole when it comes to foundations. If you're starting out with makeup, I would definitely recommend going around and just asking for little samples that helps you firstly color match and see whether it, you know the foundation that you've picked is actually the right shade for you it also um you can test the longevity of the foundation also how it reacts to your skin i got some um i got a sample of i think it was kat von d's foundation so i'm gonna apply that So now that we have our foundation on, we're gonna move on to highlighting and contouring. Now this is another thing that gave me the biggest headache. Thankfully I went into Chemist Warehouse and they were having this huge sale. I got a highlight and contouring kit, um, it's by a brand called Australis, which is an Australian brand. I don't know how to pronounce that. I didn't live in Australia long enough to learn how to pronounce these things. <laughs> it's like a makeup brand and they usually have like really affordable makeup. This was on sale, I think it was $12 if I'm not mistaken. It's a cream um, contouring kit. The darkest shade is probably my foundation shade. So I don't know how this is gonna work. And then the lightest is like a yellow, which we all know. I don't want to look like a ghost at the end of the day, okay? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the um, darkest shade to contour with and I'm gonna use the second darkest shade to highlight with. I'm not gonna set my foundation or my highlight or my contouring because there's no money in the budget for that. So unfortunately, if I was to hug someone right now, literally my whole face would transfer onto their shirt, which I guess is a good thing because they will have something to remember me by. Yeah. like a hot mess we're on $17 because if you remember my foundation was free the Australis kit was about $12 and the eyeshadow was five I got a lip liner which will double as a lipstick um, I thought it would be easier that way and also cheaper because lipstick was expensive I also got some mascara as well from Essence a dollar as well and I got a blush just to kind of rosy up the cheeks a little bit which was a dollar as well so which put me right on budget it was $20 exactly and I was so proud of myself I'm gonna Put my lip liner first, try and play around with it, put some mascara and put some blush and we'll call it a day. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! Oh jeez, I've, I've, I've got no words. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do similar videos like this, don't forget to leave it down below. You know the comment section is for you. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.